Hello, and welcome to the Sculpting Pro Height Map feature official documentation video. In this video, I will show you how to use the Height Map Brush feature in practice. First of all, I am going to create a simple cube. Add a Sculpting Pro model component. As you can see, the cube has some weird lighting. This is called normals. The Sculpting Pro allows you to recalculate normals in three methods optimize normals and advanced normals. To switch between these two, go to the window, Sculpting Pro, and Preferences. There you can disable or enable optimized normals. I am going to use advanced normals with custom angle property so we could edit the normals on our cube. We will keep the normals flat, as we are going to subdivide the vertices on our mesh. Open the Sculpting Editor and subdivide the mesh so we could have a smooth cube. Alright, that looks fine to me. Now let's jump to the Hide Map Brush feature. Hide Map Brush feature contain a few attributes that you can edit. And that's a height map brush, horizontal brush, and rotation offset. Let's assign the height map brush. You can use the existing height map brushes in the example content of the Sculpting Pro. For example, the Volcano brush. The height map brush is basically a black and white texture. The brighter the pixels are, the higher the vertices will displace. You can choose any black and white texture. Let's calculate the pixel data on the brush and assign the brush to the required height map brush field. And there we go! We can now play around with the mesh. If the results look too low poly, you can easily increase the vertex count. Please remember that the more vertices your mesh has, the more time it takes to calculate the height map brush feature. You can also rotate the horizontal brush by holding the left shift and scroll. If you disable the horizontal brush option, you can stamp your height map brush in all angles, which is great for any mesh decorations or edits. Height map brush feature is also available in sculpting at runtime. There are some example scenes with height map stamping, such as this one. You can easily select the preset height map brushes and stamp them on the mesh. As you can see, the process requires some time, depends on the mesh vertices and texture resolution. And how can you achieve the height map stamping at runtime? I've made a layout of height map brushes that contain an UI button component with events connected to the Sculpting Pro Real Time component. First, it's going to choose the brush state that you can find in the Sculpting Pro Real Time component. And finally, it's going to assign the chosen height map brush. In Sculpting Pro Real Time component, you need to assign the object that will represent a visual object for the height map stamping. The default one 
is a quad, which makes sense. And you can also edit other fields, just like in the editor sculpting, it's all the same. And that's it! If you have any questions, suggestions or issues, do not hesitate and please let me know on my official Discord server that you can find below in the description. Thank you for watching and good luck!